The funny thing about life is that it's never the same, and it often takes a 180 when we least expect it. What may come across as unpleasant in the beginning might bear sweet fruits in the future. There's a reason why they say bitter pills may have blessed effects. This is the story of two lovebirds from Ohio Mandy and Tyler, who like any other couple, had dreamed of bringing up a child. They walked on a long and arduous road to complete their family, but what their son-to-be did at the hearing became the most unexpected moment of their life. Mandy and Tyler were put to the biggest test a parent could possibly go through. They had lived the past 17 months without their toddler hunter. A year of hard work and perseverance, and they made to this particular day that would decide the fate of their family. They stood in the courtroom, silent, controlling their emotions, not knowing they were about to witness the most remarkable moment in their lives. The last one year had been nothing less than an emotional roller coaster for Mandy and Tyler. They had finally added a kid to their family, and everything seemed perfect, but there was more to it than it met the eyes. They were quite nervous heading into the courtroom on their big day. They were confident that they'll prove themselves as worthy parents, capable enough to bring up their son and give him a happy and comfortable life. They were anxiously waiting for the decision, and it was then the silence was broken by their toddler's words. It was Tyler's boy who had dreamed to serve his nation. When he joined the U.S. Army in 2010, he wasn't aware of the consequences that eventually set in. Just after 20 days of basic training, he was allotted a position in the 101st Airborne and had to leave for Afghanistan to fight a war. Being a ranger was all Tyler ever wanted, and he certainly loved the time he had with his army mates, but the things he experienced during the war were getting the best of him. The things Tyler experienced during his time in Afghanistan were taking a toll on him. He had served and finished his time in Afghanistan, and he was awfully happy by the feeling. Tyler could definitely use this break to regain his composure by spending some quality time with his friends and loved ones. He had certainly left the place behind, but the things he experienced during his time in the Middle East stayed with him. Fortunately for Tyler, he was in for an exquisite experience that would make things much better. There's nothing in this world that love can heal, and Tyler found the love of his life when he bumped into Mandy in 2013. Just when Tyler was having the time of his life, he got the news that he was being deployed to Afghanistan again for the second time. Tyler was willing to make his relationship last with Mandy, but deep down he knew that his deployment would have further impacts on their relationship. To top that off, Mandy was diagnosed with a chronic disease. While Tyler was battling with PTSD, Mandy had been fighting with a lifelong disease for years. She was only 15 when she was first diagnosed with Crohn's disease. From medication to undergoing multiple surgeries, Mandy went through a lot to manage the symptoms, but nothing helped. On the contrary, she would later know that her body had paid a massive price in coping up with the surgeries and the medicines. Tyler was being sent off to the Middle East for the second time, and Mandy was dealing with her own health issues that would only make situations worse for them. But against all the odds, Mandy and Tyler didn't allow their individual problems to affect their relationship. We knew it would be hard, but we also knew it would strengthen our relationship in ways most people could never understand," said Mandy. Many obstacles came into their way, but they stayed together in their search for love and happiness. Tyler's second deployment lasted for almost a year, and it was tough for both Mandy and Tyler, but the distance to Mandy made Tyler realize how precious she was to him. Tyler made his mind, and within a month of his return, he proposed to Mandy. The couple tied the knot just after a few weeks. Tyler and Mandy were now happily married, and they were excited to start this new phase of life with each other. Tyler decided to resign from the Army in 2015 after being diagnosed with PTSD. He also started attending medical therapy sessions at VI Medical Center in Ohio. But they needed more than just medical attention to heal their wounds. The very first dream that a couple sees together is to have their own kids sometime in the future. Mandy and Tyler immediately wanted to start a family and began trying for having kids of their own. But as time passed by, it appeared that life had different plans for them. They were down on their luck and Mandy's Crohn's disease killed the possibility of her conceiving. Although Mandy and Tyler were fascinated about the idea of bearing children, seemingly, they were frustrated as months turned into years with their failed attempts to conceive. 
After trying for years they came to a sad, but true conclusion, that it wasn't meant to be, keeping in mind, that Mandy's body won't survive pregnancy given with her illness. The idea of bearing a baby seemed nearly impossible, and the couple started to contemplate the remaining options. It was the never-say-never -never attitude of Mandy and Tyler that always helped them in getting through the tough times. And so it happened, adoption struck to them as the best option out of everything. Straight away, adoption appeared as an ideal way to opt for Mandy and Tyler. They grew more certain, when it came to their knowledge, that how local foster families were required. They came across many advertisements and public announcements regarding the subject that moved them. They thought it would serve their purpose and help a baby get a home at the same time. Mandy and Tyler formed a firm belief that all the past events were a sign from the universe and they were destined to be foster parents. They thought through it and signed up for the licensing program. What they didn't know at the time was that the road they had taken was long and full of challenges. After an extended process of becoming licensed, Tyler and Mandy were exhausted with all the paperwork and steps they had to go through to be considered as foster parents. However, when they became licensed, they found out within the same week that a baby boy needed a family. They couldn't wait to meet little Hunter, as it seemed too good to be true. Mandy and Tyler were worked up as they had to through a lot of paperwork and different steps to become foster parents. After a long and exhausting process of getting licensed, it had only been a week when it came to their knowledge that a baby boy was in need of a family. It was nothing less than a dream for Mandy and Tyler, they were now licensed, got the news about Hunter who was in need of a foster family, and it all happened within a week. The little baby boy was only a week old, Mandy and Tyler were excited, and couldn't wait to bring Hunter home and expand their family. Little did the know, it was only the beginning of the challenges that lied ahead. Everything happened at the drop of a hat, with Palmer's having a little time to prepare. However, the couple knew what they had to do first, they ran off straight to the store to shop for baby supplies. It was an emotional time, Mandy said. When the couple arrived to receive Hunter at the children's service, he was all cuddled up in a blanket, held by their caseworker. The baby boy was eight days old at the time, and it took a fraction of a second for the couple to fall in love with him. There are many bumps on the road that leads to adopting a foster kid, the most notable being the child taken back from the family. For instance, there are cases when the biological parent changes their mind and demands the custody back again. When Mandy and Tyler took Hunter home with them on the first day, they weren't aware of the fact that the adoption process was still incomplete. As quickly as the long-awaited dream of having a family was handed to them, it was also taken back from them in no time. Mandy and Tyler could only live their dream for a few days, as another family had applied for Hunter's adoption. They couldn't believe what had happened, their world came crashing to their feed, and they couldn't do much about it. But there was one thing the couple could do, they could fight for their happiness as they did in the past. They commenced on a long-lasting battle to get Hunter back. Tyler had been to a war in Afghanistan when he served in the military, and Mandy had spent a lifetime fighting Crohn's disease, so you just know they weren't going down without a fight, especially when their precious child Hunter was at stake. Palmer's patience and determination were put to test, as the official process to adopt Hunter took a lot of time. Over that period, numerous meetings and hearings were organized, and it took them around 16 months to get to the judgment day. 18 December 2017 was chosen as the date for the final hearing. The court date was set so far in advance that by the time the big day approached, they would have been with Hunter for 17 months. They had already had the role of parents for all of seven days of Hunter's life, so there was simply no way that they were going to give up on keeping him and adopting him without a serious fight. There were constant struggles, and life was never easy for Mandy and Tyler. Tyler was still struggling with the PTSD symptoms that he had shown after his deployment in the Middle East, and Mandy had to endure the constant pain and suffering that came along with Crohn's disease. To them, Hunter was the panacea to all their diseases, and a strong reason to keep battling. Little Hunter and his foster parents were extremely excited when their court date finally arrived. They even dressed up for the big occasion, as Hunter wore his nicest outfit and his parents also dressed up for the occasion. Only one thing awaited, and that was for them to make sure that the judge would approve their adoption. The big day arrived and Little Hunter suited up for the occasion, his foster parents dressed up for the big day as well. They were all thrilled with excitement as the day they had desperately been waiting for was finally here. The only thin line between Hunter and the Palmers was the judge's decision. The stage was all set, and it was time for the decision to be announced. It was very emotional, in a good way said Mandy. 
Palmer's friends and family marked their presence to support the couple. The session ended with the judge's final announcement as he gave Hunter with his new legal name. The moment was quite remarkable itself, but everyone would cherish it for a special thing that Hunter did. The adoption paper was read, and Hunter was now their legal son. Mandy and Tyler had endeavored for a year to witness this very moment. Could it get any better? Yes, little Hunter looked at Tyler and yelled at the peak of his voice, saying, Dad. Hunter started to clap, as if he was more excited than any adult in that courtroom. It was a sight that filled everyone with tears of joy. There were no lengths to which Mandy and Tyler wouldn't go in assuring that Hunter stayed with them as their official son. However, they happily moved on instead of stressing about if things had gone the other way. They are focused on bringing up Hunter and giving him with all the happiness he deserves. They will cherish this day for their lifetime. Mandy doesn't need to think twice when asked how she felt in that moment. It's definitely worth all the efforts. It's nice to look at him now and not have to worry that he's ever going to leave us again, Mandy said. Everyone including Hunter was happy with the judge's decision. There's a lot a parent can learn from their kids in the process of raising them up. Mandy and Tyler learned a lot from this experience, and it showed them that every cloud has a silver lining. The Palmers must be extremely happy and proud for not giving up when the time tested them as they were eventually rewarded with Hunter's custody. Had they given up without a fight, things might have gone completely different, and who is to say that Hunter would have gone to a family who would love him as much? Life's not all sunshine and rainbows, and battling with PTSD and Crohn's disease can take a toll on one. Though there's no medicine that can cure Tyler's PTSD, but having Hunter take his last name has helped him beyond any medication could. Hunter brings a smile on their face in tough times, motivates them, and has become a reason for Mandy and Tyler to continue fighting their battles. If the Palmers were to ask for a Christmas gift they would definitely ask Santa to get them Hunter and complete their family. Luckily for them, Christmas came a week early this time. Hunter was given their last name by the judge on December 18, 2017, and they celebrated their first Christmas as a family. It is well said that patients always yield the desired result. There's absolutely nothing that Mandy loves more than being a mom. For Mandy, her family is her first priority, we have learned that family isn't about DNA. It's about love, she said. The couple is more than happy to have Hunter back, and they love the fact that he is not going away this time. Moreover, Hunter will always feel protected and loved with the Palmers, Hunter means the world to them, and they proved it by the fight they had put to get him back. Mandy and Tyler did move on, but the impact of what they had experienced will last forever. They don't hesitate in sharing their experience with other couples, and proudly advocates the adoption of foster kids and orphans. They had successfully dealt with the problems and challenges that came their way during the adoption process, and their story encourages other couples to consider the option of foster care and adoption. Kids are as delicate as flowers, they need someone to look after them, love them, and handle them with care which helps them bloom. Unfortunately, there are many children in the world who don't have a family and are deprived of basic necessities. How would they fly when they are not even allowed to spread their wings? They need someone to reach out to them. They are innocent and deserve all of us to help put their broken pieces back together," said Mandy during Foster Care Awareness Month. Mandy and Tyler, their story speaks to us in many ways, but if I had to sum it in one line, it would be comebacks are always stronger than the setbacks. From their individual lives to the problems they faced as a couple, they always had major setbacks, PTSD, Crohn's disease, infertility, staying away from Tyler for one long year, you name it. But one thing was certain, they always bounced back and emerged stronger. And at the end, they walked out of the court as a happy couple.